Conco versus Puck lane. Well, the top lane. The progression going out already is Vichun. Cop a Fisher there from Gojira, but it's going to be fine to back himself out. Mind you, even with the anti mage in a game like this, it is a, in fact, hold that thought, because K1 now down a bot lane is big, big trouble and does end up dropping. Lace able to secure the first blood already on the DP, and that's K1 going down on the jump. That's a... That's a lot to miss out on, or at least your launch 4 doesn't get that impact you want on the Shaker. You are starting to build up on Whisper, he does have level 6, doesn't go for the Nova. It's starting to really be annoying in that way. Pushing in, Martin to get some space out, although down to bot. Gonna go down immediately thanks to Lace and Sweet and Strong. And K1, he knows he's not safe here. Avalanche is not gonna connect in K1. Run towards the east to try and get his way out of this, but Lace is on the chase now with the Siphon. K1, maybe not realizing no one is. He's gonna accept the fact that he cannot survive through it. We'll drop. Another great kill here for Na'Vi, and it's right into Chris Luck. He's hanging around. Well, he's forward, Lace. He'll happily go for the fight now if Chris Luck doesn't realize he's completely surrounded. Eventually he will fight out the hard way the boat. It does fly in, but how does he get out of this one? He's been rolled up for so long. They bring him more hit heroes. Not gonna matter. The curve will knock out the Venno. Chris Luck, he may have done himself a good job here with this poison over though. It's solo and don't want to tick it out. In fact, they even down Lace the Death Prophet. Solo. Still trying to run and accepting his own death. Trying to protect no one, but he's gonna drop. The Whisper, with the rotation, with that Poison Nova, really turns it around for his team. Like, right, like this is when Venno feels really strong, and you see Whisper, top of the net worth board right now, especially after that last team fight. He really just climbed his way up, and yeah, it, it, it's a tough affair for Na'Vi. You see that happen here. They do jump for more now. They are going to find that Venom. So Whisper is going to go down a sweet and strong end. And RV, they do manage to get themselves some sweet, sweet revenge. Well, very nice for them, but... Again, I, I do believe this is where Whisper is going to be the strongest. There's no one. They're going to find himself an Earthshaker now, so Gojira... No real chance of surviving through that one. Yeah, they tried to play with Cookie, trying to stun out. No one! It's Quill instead. No one just finds a little bit of a freebie. It does give Navi the opportunity to try and equalize Radiant's mid with mid laser round. Exo running. No shaker, no Venno. Although the response are short, but without that Nova, it doesn't feel like you really want to force this one too hard. Time down. They found Whisper again. They want the Venno down first. Keep in mind, there's no poison over up anyway, so it's not cool down right now. It's sweet and strong. Turns out he's gone a little bit too far here. Navi, back their way out, but no one. He gets caught out here on the park. He's got face shift up, but the Echo Slam immediately committed by Gujira. No hesitation whatsoever from the Earthshaker. Navi, that Roshan hit still for Gojira. He is there to kind of walk away as Roshan still dropping rather low over the orbit. Just. They might just find themselves a winter wyvern for their trouble. East Coast. Hold out. On to the wyvern. Maybe solo gone. Avalanche is out. They still have to find Gojira. That Chris Lump now. In fact, never mind. Obvious has to get it as well. Lace. Dropping a fair bit of damage, but not quite enough to secure the kill of K1. Up the coil now. Doesn't break it himself, but he's in massive danger. Sweet and strong. Takes him out. In fact, they even found that the Venno whispers down. Stinger, he's been left behind to boot. The only survivor is Chris Locke, and he has the Aegis intact. The only man to be able to walk away. You can see two towers to drop. Top tower has fallen. Oh. We're at the top as they shoot. One's gonna land onto the AM. Zoom think out of there. X up and Gojira, a very nice catch into the Echo Slam and now the boat to fly out Bichu. Oh, he's been caught with his pass down. Into the Omni Smash on the Lace. They haven't been set for it yet. That's a very nice curse to set back up for Solo. If they want to counter initiate. They will find Gojira for K1. He might be able to beat up the gun. He has found a third. You know what? 
truly that woman. He's gonna find a haste rune, so he should be fine to back his way up, but it's a successful team fight this time around for Beast. Mid lane, Whisper, Chris Lock. Both around the area. Smoke will break. X will be scouted out. Chris Lock will get caught by the Dream Call into the snap immediately with the X back. Sweet and strong with the Avalanche Toss combo and now the curse out. Solo, he scored three of them. All the mana green from K1 into the mana void as well. Oh, perfect setup from Navi. They even found Whisper, but he does BKB up. And should be able to. Even strong. Still a great set of trades here for Navi once again. A really nice curse set up there from Solo on the Wyvern. Oh, get caught. Chris Luck looking for the X back, but not able to find it. Still rushing his way up to the high ground. Is eventually going to be able to find the Wyvern. Lace is around to try and help out if he really wants to. Solo going to buy a bit of time with the Cold of Rays, but that'll be enough for them. Navi. They'll lose the Wyvern, go back off as Beast Coast. They're not done yet. After Sweet and Strong, they go. Trying for the Tiny as well, and they should have it. The yeah, extra track is there, but Sweet and Strong somehow still alive. He's playing a bit more time. RV just not looking for the fight as Beast Coast. Should have been going. Voice over out now. Lays forced to pop the extra and try to force the fight as the buyback. Uh, there is one from Navi before they aim him. One rifle with the first of the better, but he's going to be KB up. Feature will join the fray as well. Solo already dying back up easy on the Wyvern. They might find the Earth Shaker, but no. Oh. Oh, Beast Coast. They just kept going. And eventually, Navi, they were just forced to turn around and try to fall. They're the ones that are going to find a way to try and force this fight. They weren't very confident, but a nice avalanche constant is there. On to K1, now Beechu does make his link in. So they will go for the fight on the side of Beast Coast. Beechu. Beech. up the under control. Eventually with the Mana Void, though, they'll get the job done. Even find the Aegis of the Junk. Beast Coast really want to keep this fight going. It does seem like they do. They fall back on... You know, Nova's not fatal damage, so... You're not quite dead, but it's enough to chug him way in. As you mentioned, Mike, high ground, so we will shove in a little. The curse is there, but it's really caught nothing. Solo, he might just go down for this. Chris Lock, yeah, just moves in. Easy pick off for himself. There's your buyback to this by Laser. And I will just one back there. Way is K1. Does go down a V2. Maybe they can force the fight. Chris Lock looking for the TP up at the coil. It's going to lock him down a Na'Vi. They will be able to punish the side of Beast Coast. For sticking around a bit too long. Not a bad team fight whatsoever for Na'Vi, and not a bad defense. Your output on the jug Radiance versus AM top. matchup is equally awkward for both sides with the evasion oh. running. Oh. Oh. Now oh, gone, right into the tier 3. Oh. Whisper to try and force them back. No one meanwhile found Gojira, now with the toss back onto the Venno. Oh boy, Whisper. Might just go down, but a nice cookie to save the day. No one, though, gonna follow up and secure the killers now. Bichu, right in with the snap by wanting a bit more, might just have him. We'll pop his BKB just in case, but he has secured the kill. The Beast Coast, I mean, they've gotta be very careful here, John. They've given a lot of the try to go again onto the high ground, and considering how much EHP you do have on your AM with the evasion, it might not be enough to just hope that. Hector can spin on top and get the Omni Slash off because Eutrune is deceptively tanky. Yeah, they found the punch. They'll take no one down, but now the curse is trying to turn this one still K1. Gets an Omni onto the wire of the solo. Looking at the buyback. Still goes Jira. Is going to drop it now. K1. Mana Void is there. He's going to go down, it seems like. Oh, oh boy. No. Here we go. No buyback available. This is where things get rather Radiant scary here for the Fisher. They've got so long for time, but the lot stuns are there, but now the curse is committed. B2. He'll be able to set up right off the whisper if he wishes, but the poison over is available once again to get the soul from her. B2. He gets caught out of the AM this time around with the cold embrace. He's gonna buy a bit of time. B2. Still alive, but not for long. They've taken him down. Gojira. Just the constant stun flying out. It gets it done. Beast goes, trying for a bit more now. Well, the rather no one, he finds Stinger. 
one. Still kicking out the poison though, the damage, but ooh. Game where it's very hard to tell who's eking out a little bit more on the map. In theory, Beast Coast is a little bit better off with a tier 2 standing bot. But not VR aren't doing too bad as well. It's a lot of back and forth in these fights. This Roshan can set press. Although he's strong. He's in. K1 though. We'll have his way with him. Another foil of them. No one. Chris Lott. Still going after Lace. The K1 seems to have a nice set. One to no one. Trying to stop. And he's on the same gun. Well, that way it goes. K1 towards the south. Chris Lott. Falling rather low here to Lace. And then we might just drop. Even with the bow drop. It's not going to be enough. Document buyback to try and get back into this low shaft pit, but in the meantime, K1 now, he's been left behind. He's a big, big trouble, even with the BKB up, he's gonna go down. No buyback. Sting up. Trying to run his way out of the snap fire, but it doesn't seem like he'll be lucky either. Eventually, he will go down. More buybacks can be committed here from Beast Coast. They try for no one but the Echo Slab. Oh, it's completely whiffed. With all the buybacks committed by from Beast Coast, Navi with one team fight on a couple of heroes, that could be high ground and megas, maybe maybe the end game for not here. Very nice have like this fact they found goes here on. The other thing is gone now. No buyback available. Navi will just keep moving forward. Curse is down, holding down Chris one. K1 trying to get something done here against D2. He's down a bit. He won't know one. He's done that for a while, but he's just fine as well as now the Man of Void. Back in on the Whisper. The Venom Man for a big trouble. Could go down and eventually. No, not quite yet. D2 on a danger now. He's trying to run. It will blink away at Beast Coast. Somehow keeps the steam fight going as no one. Still trying to hunt down the Venom Man. You can jive his way to victory as Whisper. Still trying to avoid no one. Eventually, surely dies here and does do so as no one. Not done yet. Wind Waker is way up back to the high ground. Is now sweet and strong with the toss back onto the Gorka. For his luck, gonna try man fight this one out. There's no way it is. Good try, but there's just no way to survive. That might be it. There's three heroes down with our buyback available. But Navi, they're gonna go for Roshan first. Sometimes, Mike, you know, as they would say, as the youth would say, you sometimes want to dive a bit far. Go too far. A nice smoke break from Sweet and Strong here, though. Jumped in. Double Avalanche. And cross combination on the Stinger. And the Bosco Jira into the curse. Out from Solo. They should just get cleaned up here by Beach. This nice Stinger does. Sweet. Sweet goes nowhere. Two down. Time to See if they can make that high ground push for that final uh, final lane of barracks, the Megas. Clean angle for the big slam. Victory tower. Drop it down and toss back again. Sweet and strong right into the coil, but the echo Ooh. slam. Being committed by Gojira. Problem is, John, there's just no damage with this. Around, but it's not doing the damage necessary. They've just got all the answers here on the side of Narvi as they find another. No call being made yet here from Beast Coast, but there's four down. There you go, there's the DT call now. A very back and forth game. And you know, like you said, on the ground, it, it does kind of imply that Beast Coast had a very, very good lead throughout the midway through this game, but a few mistakes here and there. But Like, uh, I think for Beast Coast, right, they, they found this strong early start. They managed to really 